This tutorial explains how to concatenate character strings in the R programming language. So without much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video I will show you several examples and all of these examples are based on the character string vector that we can create with line 2 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new vector object is appearing which is called x. And we can print this vector to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 3 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a character string vector containing five elements. And the first vector element is hello, the second element is this should be concatenated. So let's assume that we want to join all the vector elements in this character string vector together into only one character string. Then we can apply the paste function as you can see in line 5 of the code. And within the paste function we need to specify the name of our character string vector. So in this case this vector object is called x. And then we need to specify the collapse argument. So in this case we are using a collapse argument that is equal to a blank. So if you run line 5 of the code you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that we have returned a single character string. And this character string contains the vector elements of our input vector x and all the elements in this vector have been separated by a blank. So we can also change the collapse argument as I'm showing in line 7 of the code in the next example. So in this case I'm using basically the same code as in the previous example. However this time I'm using an underscore to collapse our character vector elements. So if you run line 7 of the code you can see that another output is returned at the bottom in the RStudio console and this time the elements of our input vector have been joined based on an underscore. Similar to that we can also avoid using a separator so in line 9 of the code I'm showing you how to do that and in this case I'm simply using an empty character string to collapse our vector so if you run line 9 of the code you can see that another character string is returned and this time our vector elements have been joined together without any separators. So in the first examples of this tutorial I have shown how to apply the paste function to combine several vector elements of a character string vector. However I want to show you an alternative which is based on the string R package. And if we want to use the functions of the string R package, we first need to install and load the string R package, as you can see in lines 11 and 12. I have installed this package already, so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 12 of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the string R package, such as strc, as you can see in line 14 of the code. And within this function, we need to specify again the name of our vector object, and the collapse argument, so it's very similar to the paste function. However, if you run this line of code, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that another output is returned, which is the same output as in the first example. However, this time we have used the strc function of the string R package. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.